We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here coming to you on another day that God has given us by His grace and by that special, that wonderful grace we will keep on going. We thank God that it is Friday. We have made it through another week and we will keep on going. It is the grace of God that sustains us. His grace is sufficient for us, for His power is made perfect in weakness. And I tell you, my dear friend, God is with you. God's grace is sufficient. God's power is with you. And God will see you through. My dear friend, I want to speak to you about something very important today. And I encourage you, share this message with every believer that you know. It is so important that we take note to what I'm going to share with you. The title of my message is Take Your Relationship with God Very Seriously. It was predestined by Him that you would be saved. Now, I want to start by saying, Did you know that God really loves you? He cares about you more than you can imagine. Did you know that He cares about your progress? Did you know that He cares about your dreams and your aspirations? Did you know that He wants you to succeed? Did you know that He wants you to be blessed? He wants you to be happy. Even the very fact that you are born again and saved was because of God's goodness and His mercy. He predestined that you would be saved. He predestined that you would be born again. Some people think they came to God with their own strength and that they are saved because they decided one day that they will come to God and they think that is the end all and be all of it but the truth is we can only come to God because he called us first he called us to come to him to the saving knowledge of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ if God doesn't call you to such a thing you can be listening but you are not hearing you can hear but you don't understand what is being said it takes something from God and He predestined that you would be born again, that you would be saved, that you would come to Christ. I want to speak to you about this. I want to share just a few scriptures with you and I want to show you that God really loves you. Now, as we begin, let us welcome the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, lift up your hands as a sign of surrender and say this with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit take over control. Bless me. Help me to get closer to Jesus. Help me to know Jesus more. Help me to live this life in a manner that is worthy of praise. I ask this in Jesus name. Amen. Now the first passage of scripture that I want to read to you is from the book of Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 4 to verse 5. It says, Even as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before Him. In love He predestined us for adoption to Himself as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of His will. Now, this scripture shares quite a bit but there is a piece of it that I want to highlight to you. Even as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world. So even before we were born, before anything was said and done, before the foundations of this earth were laid, before this universe was knit together, God knew that you would be born. God knew that there would be somebody with your name, your passions and desires, the things that you love to do. He knew that you would be there because He created you. And at that point already, He predestined that you would be born again, that you would be saved. 
that you would be called according to the purpose of his will. The Bible also says in the book of Romans chapter 8 from verse 28 to verse 30, it says, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. So once again, we see that God predestined that we would be born, that we would have this opportunity to be alive, that we would have this opportunity to live and make our impact in this realm, in this world, that we would have the opportunity to come to the saving knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's so important to understand and know this. If you understand and know that of the millions of possibilities of individuals who could have been born in your place, if you understand the science behind it, and you understand that of all of them, you are the one who was born, who had this chance to live this life. You would understand and know the love of God for you. You would understand that your life is not meaningless. You are not alone. You are not worthless. You are worth much to somebody. And that somebody is God. Worth so much that He gave His only begotten Son to come and make a way for us. The Bible says in the Gospel of John chapter 15 from verse 16, it says, You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. So once again we see this. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you. You didn't choose God, but God chose you. Say that with me. Say, I didn't choose God, but God chose me. And that's why you're with God. It is so important to understand the depth of the grace that we experience and that it goes so much more than we sometimes understand. The Bible says in the Gospel of John chapter 6 from verse 44, it says, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up on the last day. Now this is a very important scripture. The Gospel of John chapter 6 from verse 44, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him. So this just affirms what I told you. The fact that you have come to Christ is because even before you were born, before anything was said and done, before the foundations of this world were laid, God knew that you would be born and he predestined that you would be saved. And it's very difficult for people to sometimes understand the way God thinks and works because we work and we live in a realm that has a beginning and an end. But God lives in the eternal realm. This is very difficult for people to imagine. And because of the fact that He operates from that realm, before anything was made, He already knew what was going to be made, what was going to happen, how it was going to happen, the millions of ways things could have played out, the millions of people that were, that are right now, and that are still to come. He knows everything. And in His wisdom, He predestined that you would be saved. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 11 to verse 12, it says, In Him we have obtained an inheritance, having been predestined according to the purpose of Him who works all things according to the counsel of His will so that we who were the first to hope in Christ 
might also be to the praise of his glory. Once again, we see the concept of God calling us before we even came to him. With all this being said, I want to encourage you today. Take your relationship with God very seriously. What you have concerning that relationship with God is a grace. And it is a grace that some haven't experienced. It is a true gift. It is priceless. It is a genuine opportunity, not just in this lifetime, but for eternity. It is unmerited favor. It is and should be esteemed and valued more than the best riches and gold that you can find. Take your relationship with God and the times that you enjoy in the presence of God seriously. Be grateful for it. Honor God for His goodness and His mercy towards your life. And praise Him. Yes, sometimes things may not happen the way we want them to happen. But look at the blessings that God has given you. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. And you will see what the Lord has done. And some of the greatest blessings are those we sometimes overlook. Like the opportunity to be born again and saved. The opportunity to have a relationship with God. The opportunity to be called of God. The opportunity to come to God and enjoy His presence. Respect the presence, honor the presence of God. There are some people who came before Christ who wished that they could experience such a presence. Enjoy the blessing that God has given you. The blessing to know Him. Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. I'll say that once again. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And this is the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Today, Reach out and enjoy the blessing that God has given you. Let us go into a time of prayer. Let us begin by thanking and praising God and take a moment to just appreciate and thank God for Him choosing you that you would be born again and saved. Father, we thank you. Thank you for thinking of us before we even thought of you. Before we existed, before anything was said and done, you knew that we would be born. You thought of us before we thought of you. Before the foundations of this world were laid, you predestined that we would be born again and saved. We are grateful for your goodness. Sometimes, Father, we overlook the true depths of your goodness and your mercy towards us because our minds can't comprehend some of the greatest things that are around us because we live in a realm that is a beginning and an end and you are from the realm that is eternal we give you praise and we thank you we lift up your name we lift up the name of Jesus we give you all the glory Father for your goodness and your mercy your love never fails us your love never runs out on us you are good and you are gracious. You are our God. You speak and you live. We lift up your name. Be glorified for all that you do in our lives. Receive all the glory where all the glory, honor and praise is due. Father, if we have ever forgotten to thank you for something that you have done for us, we thank you today. We thank you. And we ask you, Father, don't forget us. Don't leave us. We can't make it without you. For all that we have comes from you. And even our future is in your hands. We give you all the glory, all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 
My dear friend, I discern God's presence. Now, I want to pray for you for a minute or so, and I trust, I know, I believe God is going to bless you. So as we begin to pray, I encourage you, connect in faith, comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement, and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Give my dear friend the grace to live this life in Christ and to live it well, to finish the race and to finish strong. By your grace and by your mercy, empower my dear friend to do great things. Let miracles, signs and wonders happen in my dear friend's life. Bless my dear friend mightily, mightily, mightily and take my dear friend up. Do great and mighty things in my dear friend's life and help my dear friend to grow in their relationship with you. I ask this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. My dear friend, thank you so much for listening to this message. You are blessed and you cannot be cursed. Go up, prosper, increase, and enjoy the goodness and the mercy that God has for you. In Jesus' name, from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.